Hey people. Okay, so yesterday was pretty, pretty boring. Um, the baby and Angie and stuff didn't come over. Well, they came over, but just for a little bit. Because her mom and dad are in town. They never get to see him because they live in another state. And they came down for the baby's birthday. And they went and took pictures. And let's be real, she didn't really have much to do anyway. Um, but... Ugh, I missed them. So I'm glad they stopped by just for a little bit just so I could see them because I stalked her all day yesterday. What are you doing? What's going on? What's happening? What's going on? So, um, yeah. And then my sister came over and, um, she did some laundry and we all had dinner together and things. I paid bills because yesterday was the third. Social Security, um, gets paid on the third. Whoop, whoop. And now I'm officially broke. But whatever. Um, it's a good broke because when you've got your bills paid, you know what I mean? It's like, okay, uh, it's the fourth and I'm broke, but at least I have electricity and a place to live. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much all that happened yesterday. Um, I was a little frustrated yesterday. Got a little ticked off at some events, but the deal is, people, I need to not let that lose focus. I'm the type of person, and I know this from my past and present, obviously, that I allow things to bug me to the point where I, like, lose it. And then that's, I, it consumes me. Do you know what I mean? Because I sit in my apartment all day, every day, and I have nothing to do but think and watch YouTube videos and TV and everything else. And, um, yeah, I've been a little down in the dumps, haven't used my crutches in a few days, and that's not acceptable. Do you know what I mean? Because I really... Even though I haven't heard from my physical therapist if they have approved me yet, which I'm getting the feeling that they didn't because I haven't heard from them, but at the same time, I still have to keep hope alive. But either way, I know what I need to do. And yeah, it would be a lot easier if I had somebody helping me, but at the same time, I know that Angie's here to help me, Chase is, you know, when he's not angry at me so um but he's 16 he's supposed to be and I don't know I just there's a lot of things that are affecting me plus my uncle Bob is moving to Denver he's leaving Friday um but I get to see him probably for the last time today so that's gonna be hard and it's gonna be very emotional so I'm sure I'll get some video of that but the whole point of me rambling was that I need to not let things affect me i.e. crackhead Julie or people that put me in a pissy attitude and then when I call them on it on you know things they've done wrong then you know when they act very nonchalant about it I'm I get more pissed and I just need to let that go I need to focus on me and my kid making MS my bitch and completing this bucket list so um regardless that I didn't win the next up contest which would have been a big jumping point I really believe that there's a reason why I didn't do you know what I mean like I need to step it up and of course stepping it up doesn't mean not filming all day, but honestly, nothing happened yesterday. Um, but I, uh, yeah, I need to basically get my ducks in a row, make a list or something, and start checking things off. So I want you guys to keep me accountable, and I need you to uh, motivate me a little bit, you know 
I'm just waiting for the Angie to get here. And I'm sure that's her. I'll talk to you guys later. Love your guts. Toodles, poodles. Kisses on your face.